Welcome back everybody to the daily show where we discuss and do technical analysis for big mega cap stocks. So show your support by hitting that thumbs up button and that is greatly appreciated and if you are new here consider subscribing and that means a lot to me. Now if you want to get my daily trade ideas, my swing trade ideas, my analysis in 3 days of live trading definitely check out the Patreon and that link will be down below in the description. And now let's get right into it guys. On Microsoft is up 1% and look at this insane rally. Yes, it's bullish, but I think it's getting far too overextended to the upside. So pullback here on Microsoft also is due. Now if you look at my screen, it actually opened at 353.45, ran all the way up to 357.54, came down to 354 and then rallied back up and now trading close to 357 again. Now if you look at my screen, it's trading above 355. So that's going to be a support to watch tomorrow. And below that we also have support down here, uh, 351 and then 348.37. 5 day moving average right here and then 345 and then the gap below 339 right here. Now if this move actually continues to the upside and 355 can hold definitely blue sky above and we could see a fresh new all time high or at least uh, a retest of this all time high 366.78 on Microsoft. So wait for a pullback definitely this one is due for a pullback guys and here's my x account and if you're on there definitely give me a follow and this was a nice day trade on nvidia today and you can see on my screen i definitely bought some time december 1 expiration and luckily we sold today otherwise nvidia came back up we shorted just below 457 went down to 449 and now trading at 457 plus again. Now Apple, we talked about it last week and look at this guys, Apple 300 shares at 9.33 a.m. on Friday, right at opening. And this morning, close to 180 sold 200 shares and now holding another 100 shares of Apple. So, you know, all these trades in real time, I do share it with my Patreon group. And you also get three days of live trading. And if you're interested, that would be a great way to support my channel. Check out the link below down in the description. And you guys saw that beautiful trade on Apple and I'm still holding 100 shares and there might be more coming uh, profit on this uh, trade on Apple. And Apple is the easiest, safest and the cheapest uh, trade you can have in this market especially I would say safest and why after earnings this thing dumped and I bought the dip and I was prepared to buy even more and some of you guys especially my patreon members uh, when you guys saw that I'm buying shares of Apple at 173 and some change you guys actually went in and bought some 180 calls and I hope you locked in some profit today because this thing is up quite a bit now going into tomorrow on Apple now it's trading above finally 177. So that's going to be a level to watch and below that right down here 175, 173. To the upside Apple breaks above 180, the next stop 183. On Meta it's up 0.38% and we got a doji indecision candle here on Meta today getting up to 318.33 and then closing below resistant right here 316. So Meta only can break 316 and that holds right here. That will open the door to a move up to 326. Until Meta breaks above 316. Watch out now that we got a doji indecision candle. There might be a pullback down to 312 and if that gives up 306, 305 and then 300. On Amazon stock it's up 0.82% and Amazon getting far too overextended to the upside and look at this move today almost 141 and the Bollinger Band not fully extended to the upside so this thing came back down and now trading just above 138 and once again look at the low today 138.36 138 was holding as a support. So on Amazon the next stop to the upside definitely 
right up here around 146. And if we do get a pullback and this thing actually breaks below 138, then watch out for this gap down here at 133.57. And that would be a dip buying opportunity on Amazon. Until then, guys, you do not want to go and chase this big move here on Amazon right here on top. You want to wait for a pullback. On Google stock, it's up 0.83%. And again, low volume today. This thing went back up. And again, holding 130 even on a pullback as a support. So 130 can hold. This thing can push up to 133.84, 20 SMA, this white line right here, and then 135. And once we get above 135, then watch out for this gap, 138.75. To the downside, 130 breaks, watch out for a move back down to five day moving average right here, 128.65, and then the gap below, 127.74 on Google. On Tesla stock is down 0.31%, nothing big on Tesla. But look at the dump off, and we talked about it in my video on Saturday night that Tesla gets up to this uh, white line 20 SMA, watch out for a rejection or a breakout here. What happened today? We saw a rejection from 226, this thing came down to almost hitting 200 SMA, sitting at 214, coming down to 215, and then going back up and trading at 219.27 at the closing. So for tomorrow, Tesla needs to break 226.79. It needs to get above white line 20 SMA. And if that happens, the next stop, 242, the gap right here on top. Now below 226, we have strong support at 214 and 212. And look at the low today, guys, 215. Before hitting 200 SMA, a dip buyers, they were ready to buy the dip on Tesla, and this is exactly what they did at 2.15, and uh, now trading at 219.27 at the closing, only down 0.31%. So you wanna watch 2.14 and 2.12, and Tesla can hold uh, around that level. You're going to see Tesla coming back up and possibly taking out 20 SMA, and soon as Tesla actually takes out this moving average right here, 20 SMA, you're going to see more upside up to this gap, 242. On NVIDIA stock, it's up 1.66%, and this is where we shorted NVIDIA today. Yes, we got some profit, but if I was holding, look at what happened. You know, we shorted right here, right at this uh, resistant trend line. This thing came down to 449, and after taking profit, this thing went right back up, and now trading at 457.51. So going into tomorrow, guys, NVIDIA, if we get that rejection from right here, 457 to 460, that should bring NVIDIA down to 443.46, and then 434.25, 20 SMA, and then the gap below 423. Now, if this thing actually gets that breakout above 460, then watch out for a move all the way up to 482. On Netflix is up half a percent and this one going straight up to looks like 450 and that could be coming anytime here on Netflix. Now just a couple days ago I was telling you guys how this Bollinger Band can expand all the way up to 450 and the stock can go all the way up to 450 and then we also have this massive gap on top and look at what's happening right now here on Netflix. So tomorrow guys if there is a pullback Watch out for a pullback down to five day moving average right here, 425. And then below that, we also have support at 418. And then the gap right down here at 412.52, which is going to be an absolute dip buy on Netflix. Now, if this rally actually continues to the upside, yes, this thing can move higher. And the next stop, 450. And that could be coming as long as Netflix can stay above 425 right here above this five day moving average on this daily chart. On AMD, it's down 0.45%. And just like I said in my last video that watch out for a pullback down to 110. And this is exactly what we got. Pullback down to 110, support was holding, went back up, and now trading at 111.75, only down 0.45% on the day. So AMD can hold above 110, the next stop, 
just under 116 and that would be a gap fill here on AMD. If this thing breaks below 110, we have supported 107, 105, 102 and then 100. And that's all I have for you guys in this video. Thank you so much for watching.